Hey, a pleasant good day everyone. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick NHL game recap as we recap UC Soros' return as they beat the Devils 3-2, the Nashville Predators do, where the Devils were the team after getting some nice early wins this season, the one for the last sixth in the win column. They were able to beat, of course, the Philadelphia Flyers yet again, who they beat the last time on the road as well. But Pavel Zaka, because of great boards work by Nico Heischer, and then Brat was able to get the puck too. To him, the captain, he's here. Good work along the boards. Brad able to get the puck to Zaka. He was able to open the scoring, but then that's the only time the Devils had the lead in this game as Roman Yossi wired one home from Toma Nacino, the good youngster, and Philippe Forsberg, who's obviously been there for his entire career this far. We'll see what happens with him going forward, but been a great predator and seems to bleed Nashville of uh, Philippe Forsberg. Uh, Ellie Tolvin in four in his last four. Didn't score in his first in the last, I think it was 22 games, they said. And now it's four in his last four games. Hot as a firecracker. Going to be doing a solo two to four minute video on him coming up on my channel tomorrow or later on. But he's going off. Gromlin stays hot. 22 assists. Roman Yossi, who's of course a star of this game. Probably the second star of this game with the goal and the assist on the Tolvin and goal. Uh, he is uh, able to get the assist on that goal. And then Cousins is able to get it in front. On a nice shot that goes off of a, a goal that I think Mackenzie Black would want to control better, be able to control the rebound, but also a goal that the Devils would want to block out the crasher in a Trennan a little bit better. As Cousins get that initial assist, and then the hard-working Tanner Janot, um, who's a guy <coughs> that really, excuse me, um, just started scoring at this level, honestly. Um, for the most part, he was never the biggest scorer in the juniors and then has 6, 7, and then 13. Uh, Hines getting the most out of all of his players. They're playing a good, aggressive, simplistic, but still aggressive at the time um, style when they jump on the play because they have guys like, well, Duchesne didn't play tonight, but Duchesne that has some speed. They have Johansson that reads the play very well. They have guys like uh, him, like Janot, like Gromlin, who has speed. So if you're able to have somebody like Janot that reads the play, if he, say, is caught out on the ice with Gromlin, get it up to Michael Gromlin, and then you're out. Or Kaneen, who's a very good on more of the defensive end than he has developed into an offensive player. So you got a great mix of people down there in Nashville, which leads you to glory, which is victory. And then you have a very good guy in net that's a Vezina caliber goaltender with another one coming up in Askarov in UC Soros. So things are going good for the Nashville Predators. Guys are playing up to their contract. There's a different feel, I feel, with that team this year. And you have everybody <coughs> trending this way, where in the past you had guys going good like the Tomasinos of the world and others, but you just didn't really have the whole team. Obviously, Forsberg as well, even Trent and uh, Ekholm, but you didn't have everybody going where you want them to go, where everybody's doing great this year. This looks like a surprise, fun team. I don't think people thought the Preds were going to be right locked in as much as they are now um, at the start of this season. Some did, but not many um, from reading preseason projections, and they're doing a hell of a job. John Hines is doing a hell of a job. So that's all for them is they're able to get this 3-2 win. That UC Soros had a great night. He set the tone early, having a great save on Andres Janssen in the first couple minutes of the game, and then never looked back from there. The Zaka goal, there was nothing he could do on that. Mackenzie Blackwood, I think he would have preferred to have a better night. He still struggled bunnying a little bit. But it's a 3-2 loss for a developing Devils team that is still rebuilding, but has a lot of very good pieces in that rebuild, obviously, like Dawson Mercer, who could potentially win the Calder. If he keeps doing his things, the aforementioned captain, Nico Heeshear, Jesper Bratt, of course, as well. And then you have Sharon Govish. You brought back Nathan Bastion, who's been playing like a new man possessed, being back with his original organization since coming back. And then you, of course, have Siegenthal, who's playing solid there. Uh, mixed in with a veteran forward that helps kind of guide everybody along in the Tomas Tatars of the world. So you have a good team there. <clears throat> it's just about being patient and not jumping the gun. You don't want to kind of get in the Canucks situation where you were clearly in a solid retool situation, rebuild. But the difference in New Jersey is you have a much better, you have a great prospect pool. They didn't. But you don't want to jump the gun in terms of how Vancouver did, where Benning just all of a sudden thought they were a contender just because of the bubble playoffs, basically. Where you don't want to have a season where it looks like you're starting to get there and then jump the gun like two years in advance and then kind of hurt your back end to be able to get rid of some of these prospects that probably would have been huge pieces for you. But I think the Devils are moving in the right direction. They have only won one of their last six, but they were very competitive against a hot um, Nashville Predators team who has now won four straight games. 
oh, he told him and scored for four straight games. The stars of this game would be uh, Ellie Tolvanen, who's able to get the game-winning goal on the power play, scored for his fourth straight. We'll give him the one. We'll give the two to Roman Yossi, goal and an assist. And then we'll give the third star to the... Um, I would have to give it, honestly, I thought the Devils captain playing good along the boards, Nico Heeshear. He only had the one assist from this game. Zach was able to score the goal, but I thought he was one of the most energized, one of the most efficient players for the Devils on the ice, setting a good example. They just weren't able to get it done in the end. They had a chip away play in front of the net in the last coming seconds, but Soros was still able to keep the puck out of the net. So everybody have a great and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to the Devils and Predators game. Stay safe out there and enjoy all the hockey, everybody.